What is WAP or WAP or Wireless Access Point? A Wireless Access Point, WAP, is a network device that allows wireless devices like laptops, smartphones and tablets to connect to a wired network using Wi-Fi. It essentially extends the network reach, making it possible for devices to communicate without using cables. How wireless access point works? A wireless access point is connected to a router or switch using Ethernet cable, giving it access to the network's wired infrastructure. The access point broadcasts wireless signal Wi-Fi within a specified range. Any wireless devices within that range can connect to the network by connecting to the access point's Wi-Fi signal. Key components of WAP. The WAP or wireless access point connects to the main network through a router or switch using a physical Ethernet cable. This gives the WAP wireless access point access to the broader network including the internet, servers and other devices. Wireless signal. The wireless access point converts the wired network connection into a wireless signal that devices can connect to. Devices like smartphones and laptops communicate with WAP over the Wi-Fi, which then passes their data to the network through the wired connection. Real world example of office building scenario. In a large office building you may have a several Several floors with many employees using laptops, smartphones and tablets. To ensure they all have internet access without running cables to every desk, wireless access points are installed in strategic locations on each floor. Each wireless access point is connected to the building's network switch or router using ethernet cables allowing employees to connect to the internet and network resources wirelessly. For example, when an employee with a laptop enters the building and connects to the office Wi-Fi, their device communicates with the closest wireless access point. The wireless access point takes the data from the laptop, sends it over the wired network through the switch or router and routes it to its intended destination, whether it's a server or the internet. The same wireless access point will receive data sent back to the laptop, enabling seamless wireless communication. Types of wireless access points. Standalone access points. Standalone WAPs are simple devices that operate independently. They are typically used in small businesses or home networks where basic Wi-Fi coverage is needed. These devices are easy to set up and provide Wi-Fi access for a small number of devices. And use case, a small office or home where only a few wireless devices need to connect. And then we have controller-based access points. These are part of more complex network and are managed through wireless LAN or local area network controller. This controller allows centralized management of multiple access points across a large network, ensuring consistent performance, security and coverage. And use cases for controller-based access points are larger enterprises, schools or hospitals where multiple WAPs are deployed to cover large areas and central control over network policies, performance and security is required. And benefits of controller-based access points, mobility, Wireless access points allow employees or users to move around freely without losing connection to the network. Scalability, multiple access points can be added to extend network coverage, making them ideal for large offices or campuses. And flexibility, they reduce the need for wired connections, simplifying network management and making it easier to adapt to changes in the office layouts. In a summary, a wireless access point or WAP or W APs enable devices to connect wirelessly to a wired network. It's a critical component in providing Wi-Fi coverage, especially in large spaces like office buildings or schools, where users need mobility and flexible network access.